Hagar is a fascinating character in the Bible who appears in the book of Genesis. She was an Egyptian maidservant who belonged to Sarah, the wife of Abraham. Welcome to the Water of Worship channel, where we bring you a unique worship experience. On Mondays and Fridays, we bring you worship songs that are enhanced with the sound of water, perfect for starting and ending your week with a refreshing and uplifting vibe. Wednesdays are dedicated to Bible readings, where we explore different chapters and verses of the Bible while immersing ourselves in the sounds of nature. On Saturdays like this, we dive deep into the lives of little-known individuals in the Bible, telling their stories with a powerful voiceover and the calming sounds of water. I know you can't wait to hear about and have more knowledge about Hagar. Let's begin. According to the book of Genesis, Sarah was unable to bear children, so she offered Hagar to Abraham as a wife in the hope of having a child through her. Hagar became pregnant and gave birth to a son, Ishmael. However, when Sarah eventually became pregnant and gave birth to her own son, Isaac, she became jealous of Hagar and asked Abraham to send her and Ishmael away. Hagar and Ishmael wandered in the desert until they ran out of water. Hagar was distraught and left Ishmael under a bush, thinking that he would die. However, an angel of God appeared to Hagar and told her that Ishmael would become a great nation. God then provided water for Hagar and Ishmael, and they continued to live in the desert. In terms of origin, Hagar was an Egyptian woman. She was likely captured or purchased as a slave during Abraham's time in Egypt. Her parentage is not mentioned in the Bible. Hagar's spouse was Abraham, although she was given to him as a wife by Sarah, rather than being chosen by Abraham himself. Hagar's job was likely to serve as a slave in Sarah's household. After giving birth to Ishmael, she would have also been responsible for caring for him. Hagar did not have any siblings mentioned in the Bible, and her children were Ishmael and according to research, Hagar was around 75 years old when she gave birth to Ishmael. In addition to Ishmael, Hagar is said to have had other children, although their names and number are not mentioned in the Bible. Hagar's story is a powerful one of faith, perseverance, and God's provision. Despite being mistreated and cast out by those around her, Hagar remained faithful to God and trusted in his promises for her and her son. Her story serves as a reminder that even in our darkest moments, God is with us and can provide for us in ways we never imagined. Overall, Hagar's story is one of resilience and faith, as she was able to overcome great hardship in the desert and ultimately trust in God's promise for her and her son's future. Thank you for listening and staying until the end of this video. Don't forget to like and leave us a comment if you enjoy this content, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel for a unique worship experience, where you can find peace, inspiration, and spiritual growth. Once again, Welcome to the Water of Worship, where we bring you closer to God through the beauty of nature.